Scientists have just revealed a groundbreaking discovery. They have found a massive liquid water reservoir buried deep beneath the surface of Mars. This reservoir is so large that, if brought to the surface, it could cover the entire red planet in a layer of water one to two kilometers deep. This discovery not only answers a long-standing mystery about our neighboring planet, but also raises challenging new questions. Could this water support life? And more importantly, could it be the key to achieving humanity's dream of exploring Mars? Mars wasn't always as dry and dusty as it is today. Billions of years ago, it was a completely different world. Thick atmosphere, warm climate, and liquid water flowing across its surface. It was a perfect picture of a once livable planet. But how do we know this? The remnants of its past tell the story. First, there is the network of ancient valleys and channels. These features, resembling river valleys and floodplains on Earth, indicate that water once flowed across these terrains, carving deep channels and leaving behind sediments. The second piece of evidence comes from the presence of hydrated minerals. Satellites like the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and rovers like Curiosity have detected clays, sulfates, and salts that only form in the presence of water. These minerals, like water's fingerprints, show that it once existed on the red planet. Finally, sedimentary rock layers on Mars bear structural similarities to those shaped by water on Earth. Cross-bedding patterns and ripple marks suggest that water once flowed here, creating these features during sediment deposition. However, around three to four billion years ago, a series of catastrophic events changed Mars's history forever. The trouble began with the weakening of the planet's magnetic field. Like Earth, Mars once had a global magnetic field that shielded its atmosphere from intense solar winds, streams of charged particles emitted by the sun. But as the planet's core gradually cooled, this magnetic field weakened and disappeared. Without its protective shield, Mars's atmosphere became vulnerable. Solar winds gradually stripped it away, causing atmospheric pressure to drop dramatically. Liquid water could no longer remain on the surface. It evaporated and escaped into space. The thinning atmosphere also reduced the greenhouse effect, causing temperatures to plummet. A once warm and wet planet became a cold, arid world. As temperatures dropped, the remaining water began to freeze, accumulating as ice at the poles or being buried deep underground. However, something didn't add up. The ice at the poles was not enough to account for the vast amount of water that once existed on the planet. So where did the rest of the water go? And could it still support life? The answer came from NASA's InSight Lander, a mission specifically designed to explore the internal structure of Mars. Unlike previous missions that focused on the surface, InSight delved beneath it, studying seismic activity and the planet's internal makeup. Over its four years of operation, it recorded more than 1,300 Marsquakes, providing valuable data about the planet's core. By analyzing seismic waves, scientists discovered a massive liquid water reservoir located 11.5 to 20 kilometers beneath the surface. This technique is similar to how we study groundwater on Earth, by observing how seismic waves travel through different materials. The results revealed fractured basaltic rock with cracks filled with water as the hiding place of this secret reservoir. Although basalt is not an ideal rock for storing water, the fractures allow water to seep in and accumulate under high pressure. This is a significant discovery, not only for understanding Mars's water cycle, but also for opening up new possibilities for life underground. Liquid water, even under extreme conditions, is a key ingredient for life as we know it. The high pressure environment and protection from surface radiation could create a stable habitat for microbial life, similar to the extreme life forms found in deep subsurface environments on Earth. This discovery raises exciting possibilities for the future of Mars exploration. The presence of a massive liquid water reservoir makes it a prime target for missions searching for evidence of life. It also holds promise for future human colonization, as the water could be extracted and used for drinking, agriculture, and fuel production. Conquering Mars is not just an inspiring dream, but also an enormous challenge for humanity. However, to achieve this, we must overcome five major barriers. 
obstacles that require not only advanced technology, but also exceptional perseverance and creativity. The journey to Mars is unlike any other mission before it. The Red Planet is on average about 225 million kilometers away from Earth, a distance that light takes 12 to 20 minutes to travel. A round-trip mission to Mars could last from 18 to 30 months, including travel time, surface exploration, and return to Earth. This vast distance poses serious challenges regarding supplies. Astronauts must carry enough food, water, and oxygen to survive the long journey, while the communication delay makes receiving emergency support from Earth extremely difficult. Space is also home to many invisible dangers, with cosmic radiation being one of the most significant. On Earth, we are protected by the planet's magnetic field, but Mars lacks such a shield. During the journey to Mars, and while living on its surface, astronauts would be exposed to high levels of radiation, increasing the risk of cancer and DNA damage. Scientists are working on solutions, such as building underground bases or using radiation-resistant materials, but the health risks from radiation remain a tough problem to solve. Mars is also not a hospitable place. Nighttime temperatures can plunge to minus 15 degrees Celsius, while daytime summer temperatures barely rise to about 20 degrees Celsius. Dust storms, which sometimes cover the entire planet for weeks or even months, threaten solar power generation and can damage critical equipment. Protecting astronauts and equipment in such a harsh environment requires advanced technological development, from more durable spacesuits to automated bases. Unlike Earth, Mars has a very thin atmosphere, composed mostly of carbon dioxide, with virtually no oxygen or usable water. This means astronauts need advanced life support systems to generate oxygen, recycle water, and produce food. These systems must function flawlessly, as even a minor failure could have catastrophic consequences. Scientists are testing many solutions, from growing plants in greenhouses to water filtration technologies, but reliance on these systems still presents considerable risks. The discovery of underground water reservoirs on Mars is not only a major step in understanding the planet's history, but also brings hope for the future. While extracting water from depths of 11.5 to 20 kilometers beneath the surface remains a distant goal, it hints at Mars' potential as humanity's second home. In the meantime, nations continue striving to advance further in the space race. Recently, China successfully brought back soil samples from the far side of the moon, marking a significant milestone. Could they become the first nation to establish a permanent base on the moon? And what does this mean for the ambition to explore Mars? Only time will answer these compelling questions.